This is lab 21. We're getting close to the end. Just a few more to go. All right, so below is a list of investment transactions. Use the journal page in the folder. As normal, there's a template in the folder. You can use the template if you prefer. I'm going to use Excel. Um, and then upload. Okay, you're journalizing transactions for Moneybags Monopoly Corp, a real estate service company providing consulting for clients who are buying and selling real estate. Moneybags also invest in bonds and equity securities of other organizations. When investing in bonds, they are always classified as held to maturity debt investments. When investing in stocks of other companies, they're always, always classified as equity investments. A few interest payments are skipped. Do only the transactions below. Use the journal page or use Excel. Okay. All right, so January 1st of 2018. Pay cash to purchase 800,000 of 3.5% bonds at face value to pay interest on June 30th and December 31st of each year. All right, so investment in held to maturity securities. So we're making investment in bonds and they're called held to, investment and in held to maturity, which I obviously cannot spell. Maturity securities and we pay cash. All right, June 30th of 2018. Receive the interest on the bonds purchased on January 1st of 2018. All right, so I'm going to receive cash, and it's going to be interest revenue, and it's 800,000 of bonds times the interest rate of 3.5% times 6 over 12 months, because we've held them for half a year, and interest is always stayed on an annual basis. So we're going to get 14000 in cash. July 10th. Pay cash to purchase 4,200 shares of another organization's common stock at $13 per share. All right. When you buy stock in another company, you're buying part of their equity, and that's called an equity investment. We paid cash, and we paid 4,200 shares times $13. All right, September 30th of 2018, received a cash dividend of 40 cents per share on the stock purchased on July the 10th. So I received cash and its dividend revenue. And it's going to be the 4,200 shares times the 40 cents. October 30th. Sold the stock for thirteen seventy per share. So this stock up here, I sold it. All right. So I'm going to get cash of the forty two hundred shares times fourteen dollars and seventy. Oh, sorry, thirteen dollars. Thirteen dollars and seventy cents a share. All right. I need to take my. I'm going to skip a line. Okay, and I'll show you why in a minute. I'm going to take my equity investment out, so I'm going to credit it, but I can only take out what I put in, all right? I did $4,200, and I only paid $13 for them, so I can only take out the $54.60. That's the most I can take out. The difference in here, notice I have to put it on the credit side to make it balance out. That is a gain, all right, because I'm... I, got 70 cents extra per share than what I paid for it. So I had a gain on it. All right, December 31st of 2018. My little child wants in the house. Received interest on in the bonds purchased on January 8th, on January 1st. All right, so this is actually going to be the same exact entry again. Every six months, I'm going to get the same interest payment. Oh, then we skipped a whole bunch of years. 
All right, so the bonds are actually maturing, I'm guessing. So December 31st of 2022, all right, several years later, there are five-year bonds, and now they're maturing. So before they mature, they're going to pay you that, they're going to pay you the interest again. They're going to make the last interest payment. Okay, and then when the bonds mature, they're going to give you your cash back of $800,000. And you're going to take the investment off the books. And that's it for that one.